So, so you just sprayer it on, okay? Isn't that, isn't that a nice effect? It is. But it's you soft, need, it, it's a much softer. See, that's the second coat over. That gives you a very, see you can make shapes out of doing this. And now I'm going to put another color on top of that. Okay. And then if you really want to shape, you could shape the wax paper. Yes. I just ball it up. Now I'm going to use the same paper. I'm going to put, put it on with this now. So now I have it. I have warm white on. Was that black already painted? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Transferring color on very softly. This Rebecca does this all the time. This is how Rebecca works most of the time. Now I'm going to go over it again. Let's try something different. Let's try. Let's go to the top of that. And maybe I don't want to put it everywhere. Okay. okay. Spice color. Yeah, exactly what it looks like. So here I have it more in stripes, okay? Let's just close in one of those stripes so it's not stripey. See, I love this. And you can lay it however you want to lay it. But Is that a soft now, gray I'm using a soft brayer. Now, when you're putting color on top of color on top of color, you will just barely touch it with your brayer. Because if I push it in hard, it's just going to cover up what I've done. Okay? And see the depth that you can get? Really nice depth. Putting color on top and and then now if I put a blue on top of that, that's really going to push everything forward and back. So that's, that's what you do. I'm going to use some more of this uh, warm white, I think. No, I'm going to use... Eventually, I'm going to have to... Okay, now cinnamon. This is raw cinnamon. And as you can see, I'm not waiting in between. I'm just putting one layer on top of another layer on top of another layer. So I'm gonna put this up here more. Barely touching it. Is that wow. Pardon me? Is that the same Pardon me? wet on dry or wet? Wet on wet. Was wet. Uh, look at look at that intricate and cold wax. Look at that intricate yes. surface I'm getting. Yeah, it's lovely. Looks like the Yep. I particularly like this area right here. Now I'm, I can go just a hair lighter. This is raw sienna with a little white in it. And again, I'm just gonna 
barely touch. thing about this now I have the lines and those lines don't bother me but what you could do is lay it on just very very slightly okay. it's an easy way to put lines into your work easy way I'm going to create, I'm going to start working with this more. Now, this particular line here I don't particularly care for. So I could take some rumple cloth or I could take some tissue. Let's take tissue and see if we can mess that up a little bit. I'm just going to crumple it up. And blend that <coughs> edge just a little bit. push this in and get a nice, it's picking up some of those colors. Now this line here I'm not necessarily liking now. See how easy it is to get rid of it? And you can do that with the rumple cloth or with tissue. See, I'm softening my edges now here at the bottom. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. I'm still going to push this back because I don't like that it. it's too light right there for me. I'm really liking this. So I am going to get another piece of this and put some raw sea in it. getting a lot of depth. Now, I could go into it with, a, with some blue if I wanted to. And I say to myself, what about red? What do you think? Or a deep purple. also draw into it with some solvent. This is adding. Solvent would take away. Do I want to do that? And try not, try not to think of your pieces as too precious. I really like what's happening, okay? It, uh, it's looking very organic and very old and all of that good stuff. I'm going to set it on the table draw with this and I'm going to set it back up, okay? No. Now, it might ruin the whole thing, I don't know. But I am willing to take that risk to get a better painting, okay? Just to make it a little bit more complex. And I don't think it's going to drip. So I'm going to let it sit for about another 30 seconds and then we're going to pull it. And if I don't like it, I can just do that same process 
all over again. Yeah, the what I just did. The problem I would have with pulling it is that all the nice texture that you gave it with the tissue, you're going to squeegee it away. Not if I do it real lightly. Not if I do it real lightly. I mean, and, I, I, I was but, just like Kathy before I did that. Kathy, look at it this way. How did I get that on there? By transferring color. Why right. couldn't I just do it over again? You could. Right. You, you're could. never losing anything. It's not precious. Right. It's not precious. Yeah, don't ever treat your paintings as being so precious that you're afraid to do anything. Otherwise... Well, I only say that because I happen to have liked the texture that you put on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I happen to like that. It does have a beautiful... Now, I'm going to squeegee this and just barely, barely touch it. I don't know if I'm going to have any... See what's happening there? Yes. What would happen if you didn't squeegee it? Would it eventually separate? No. No. It would just, just, it would dry. just dry. It would just dry. That gives me another dimension. Yes, it does. Because it's dark, as opposed to light. It didn't go down to the green, though. Oh, no. That, the, 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 yeah. the green is here, but, you know, I don't like the green, personally. I'm going to cover that part of it up. I like the black. Thank you, honey. Is that the right stuff? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Now, you did put it all over the painting, though. Yeah, now here, here you can see some spots that came up. I happen to like the spots. You do? So do I. So what I'm going to do it's is... It's like they're peeking uh, out of the, uh, the painting. And I just picked up some more spots. Now, what I'm going to do... You did have some spots up yeah. in the black top. I, yeah. It's not coming up, though. No. It's not coming up. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to put some more raw sienna on top of this. Push this back just a little bit. Not necessarily up here, because I really like it up here. I like it there. Because it's different than that. See that? Now I'm going to put just a hint of it over and through here. Maybe I'll just push it on instead of brayering it on. Just push it a little bit. I can push it enough. Where's my brayer? Did I lose my brayer? I did lose my brayer, didn't I? I'll just get it. No, here it is, right here. Oh, okay. Now I can just keep going. I see that. I can just keep going until I get what I want. I'm not quite there. Would you consider adding another color to this? I think, I, you know, I, I'm I, thinking I, I, about I, I'm it. I'm struggling with that too. I'm, I'm thinking about it. And if it is, what would it be? I'm thinking, like what would a deep purple look like on top of some of that black? I don't know whether you would see the purple. That's okay, as long as it's, you know, it's just going to give you depth. Let's try it, see what happens. Hi, Joan. Good morning. I was thinking of a blue See, now that is, now when you add the white like that, you put your blue And right there, I don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of that line. This is 
purple. Can't see it there. Can right here. set this up until tomorrow then what I'm going to do is uh, put some more raw sienna and black on it because right now we're getting too wet okay so I am going to take my little rare And I just and I just used my fingernail. Sounds like the line so that you're finishing touch after you finish the wall and you put your lines in.